What is up guys, HF Masters here, and today we are doing a Lego Star Wars buildable figure, and this time it is on General Grievous, ages 9 to 14, item number 75112. It has 186 pieces, and it retails for $34.99 or $35. So first of all, this set looks really good. It actually looks like one of the best titans we've got for such a long time. So, on the back, of course, shows uh, just some of the things. It has a, it has a height, 12.5 inches or 32 centimeters, and then it has all the other sets below. So let's open this up. Alright, so one of the big things about this is, is it taller than Witch Doctor? And it almost is. It is just barely shorter than Witch Doctor. Now, this could just be because of uh, the way I have him posed. Maybe in different positions he is taller, but from the way I have him posed, Witch Doctor is just a tad bit taller. Alright, so starting off with the Grievous figure, we're going to be taking a look at the legs. And this is definitely the most complex part of the build. There's a lot of things going on. And, uh, just because the legs are, you know, cool and they're complex, doesn't really mean they're good. We're gonna take a look at some of the flaws. One of the biggest flaws, in my opinion, cannot move back. You can move back with this, but the whole leg can barely move back. It can move forward just fine, but it cannot move very far back. This kind of makes up for it, but, I mean, it just kind of looks like he's trying to kick. Another thing is, this cannot go forward. And some people may not like how there's no armor here. They could have added armor. They have uh, some open slots here. But that's just a kind of personal preference. And of course, over here, you have this part. I'm afraid to move this because uh, you can move it up and down and just move it side to side. It works pretty well. But uh, an another issue is... You kind of have to have it in a certain way, or else the figure will just topple down, because it has a lot of weight, so I'll just try to get it in a position where it will fall down. Just kind of leaning it more full, uh, backwards isn't going to stand up well, so it will end up falling down. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to place this up. But overall, you know, I think this the, the legs are are really good. I I, I, I do like them. It's a nice build, but there are definitely some flaws with it, and uh, for playability, this could be a big downside. Alright, so for the rest of the figure, I think this is a really good just a figure in general. You have a lot of posability here. This arm can move all over the place, along with this arm. This arm has a little bit less uh, range of motion, but it is further up. You can still get some really nice kind of cool poses, and there's just so much kind of posability. Another thing you can do is you can attach these arms together, which I will be showing off a little bit later. And it's just really nice. For the body, this is just a kind of more, you know, normal kind of CCBS kind of body. But we do get the ribcage piece and gunmetal, which is, it's not black, so some people may say, oh, it's not that good. But it's still a solid color and it's still going to be really good for mockers. And, uh, the back over here, you can just kind of see, there is a lot of uh, open ball joints, but they really aren't noticeable. And of course, some may say there's gaps and they may not, li not like that, but this comes down to just uh, personal preference. And overall, this uh, just, the upper area has a lot of playability, along with the head. The head can move around very well, it can move up and down, side to side very well. There isn't much limitation. So that's always a good thing. Alright, so here I have the arms connected, and I also put the lightsabers there. Now, just note, the lightsabers may be mixed up, it may be a green one here and a blue one here, but I don't really think that's going to affect the overall kind of opinion on this. But I think this is actually, it's nice, uh, it works well. I think it is a little bit of a hassle though to put it together. And uh, it does limit posability a lot. I, it, there isn't much you can do with this. I mean, 
you, you still get a lot of posability, don't get me wrong. And I mean, it does look cool and stuff. Yeah, I mean, you can get some cool poses, and it does. Uh, it looks a lot like uh, Grievous in the movies. But you know, it's when I, when it comes down to playability, you're just gonna want to have a, a lot of articulation. And this doesn't really give you that much articulation. So overall, this is a nice thing to have, but yeah, I think it's only really good for display, not really good for playing. But yeah, that is it for my review on General Grievous. Overall, I think this set is a really good set. It's it's not bad by any means. There's a lot of cool things to it. It's got uh, just tons of uh, parts. A nice build. It's really tall. Can't complain about that. But the price, $35. Kind of wish it would have been a little bit cheaper, maybe $30. But then again, license fees and all that stuff. So overall... This is a really good set. There isn't too much to complain about it. It's really good for playing, so the kids out there are just gonna think really enjoy this set, especially because Star Wars is so popular and the Force Awakens movie is gonna be coming out. And that's just, I mean, it's just gonna make it a really good set to get. But yeah, that is really, that is pretty much it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, this is HF Masters saying goodbye.